I have a brother. My brother says, before he made a million dollars, of course, he said, Wesley, I'm not like you. I don't need to buy this stuff. I don't need the fancy stuff. I don't need none of that stuff. My brother is a guy that would drive the same car for 20 years. Over time, of course, when I made the million, he's coming to me, talking to me almost two, three times a week because he just wants to know, like, how did you do it? And maybe he can do it too, right? I gave my brother what he needed because I love him. And I knew he was confused because I was like, well, Chris, quit your job. You know what he said? I can't quit my job. I got a wife. I got this. You just got kids. You don't have a wife. You don't understand. And he was scared. I said, Chris, you have to understand if you're going to talk to me that you make 80000 a year. That's great. But I make 80000 every three days and I work less than you. Long story short, he started making some money. And then what do I see in the driveway one day? Going to my parents' house. He bought a brand new Range Rover. The man that said he would never spend 100000 on a car. Now, one thing that's iconic about my cars, every car that I have, I have these license plates, Mr. West, King West, whatever. Guess what my brother license plate said? I said, take risk, because that's what he did. He took a risk, and he realized that it was something deeper going on in him. 